Good day, mates. Ever heard of a chef using a tuatara, a reptile from the dinosaur era to make steak tartare? Neither had the tuatara. Now, isn't that a giggle? Imagine this ancient, rare creature, minding its own business, suddenly finding itself as the star of a modern culinary delight. It's quite absurd, isn't it? But, before you start dialing animal rights, let me assure you, no tuataras were harmed in the making of this recipe. They're too old to notice anyway. Now, if you were to make this, which we're not suggesting you do, here's how you'd go about it. First things first, you've got to convince the tuatara that it's actually a cow. This may sound absurd, but considering that these creatures have been around since the dinosaur era, they've probably seen it all and won't mind a little role play. You may want to moo a few times for authenticity's sake. Next up, you'd need to mince it. Now, this could be a tad tricky considering it might still be regaling you with tales of cavorting with triceratops and ducking from pterodactyls during the Jurassic period. But hey, who said prehistoric culinary adventures were easy? Now, on to the seasoning. You'd need the tears of a T-Rex for this. Yes, you heard it right, the tears of a T-Rex. Now we all know that getting a T-Rex to cry is as easy as getting a cat to bark, but let's just say you've managed to pull off this culinary miracle. A dash of those tears for that extra prehistoric zing, and you're almost there. Finally, you'd need to mix it all together. Remember, the key here is to blend the ingredients as if you're stirring up a time vortex, bringing together the past and the present in a whirlpool of flavor. And voila, you've got yourself a steak tartare that's traveled through time, straight from the dinosaur era to your plate. So there you have it, folks. The world's oldest, most prehistoric steak tartare. Just imagine, a dish so ancient it makes your grandma's secret recipe seem like a fresh-off-the-press culinary sensation. We've taken the humble Tuatara, a creature that's been kicking it since the dinosaurs, and turned it into a gourmet delight. But hey, don't get too carried away. Despite its wrinkly, prehistoric exterior, the Tuatara is not actually on the menu. Using one in your home kitchen would be like trying to turn a T-Rex into a turkey sandwich. Hilariously absurd, right? And let's not forget our friend the Tuatara is a real survivor, outliving entire species and even geologic periods. So we'll leave the steak tartare to the beef and the Tuataras to their uninterrupted longevity. Remember, this is just a bit of fun. No Tuataras were actually turned into steak tartare in this video. They're far too busy outliving us all. 